All right, good morning. Hope everybody's doing well today. Hey, I want to take a few minutes and talk about um, y'all's summative assignment for this week. So design your own storage solution. And um, y'all did a little PowerPoint where you actually went through and picked out some of your um, some ideas to create a storage solution for an architectural uh, office. So pretty much our, our classroom um, as far as dealing with materials and paper and all the things we have to store with that. Um, and then also we're looking at things we'd store in the lab, right? From tools to construction materials to all the amazing stuff we have in there. But we've got to have a place for it. And so I, I think one great thing is to try to look at something that is mobile. Um, so I was kind of looking through a couple of things people had sent. This was one similar to this, um, like a plywood storage bin and small pieces of wood. Um, you know, it's always a, uh, you know, when you get some, some smaller uh, trim boards and stuff, um, I mean, you could throw them away, but honestly, uh, as we're working on smaller projects, some of that stuff is really, really useful. So, all right, so I have pulled up SketchUp right here and I haven't even started the pro I haven't even titled it yet okay you see so I've just got this thing pulled up um, so the re the whole purpose of this person being here is to give you a scale for um, for how big your your project is but honestly that whole thing gets in the way for me I'm not um, it's, it's not really the way I think so the first thing I usually do is delete that because I'm gonna put my project in there as a anyway um, so I'm gonna go ahead and first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and title this thing and make sure my OneDrive's open. So whenever I title it, save to, and it's saying OneDrive right there. This is massively important. If you miss this, um, you know, in the future you're gonna be asking me where's my where's my project. So name, I'm gonna call this uh, plywood storage cart, okay? Because I think it's um. So there's a lot of different ways to name stuff. We'll talk about that later. But for right now, this is kind of describing what it is for me. So now I've got the plywood storage cart up here at the top. If it says saved grayed out like that, that means I'm good. Okay. But um, OneDrive is going to keep saving as you're working. But if it's not, if for some reason you lose OneDrive or um, something like that, uh, SketchUp has the ability to work whenever your internet kind of breaks breaks down for a minute it, it'll work on its own for a little while and then resave it whenever you're in there so it's kind of whatever the the active memory on the thing is actually working so but you need to make sure that before you close everything that says saved grayed out right there <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull this in because I feel like this is a pretty easy way to do it so I'm gonna uh, let's see insert I'm gonna pull this in from my computer Okay, and I got this plywood storage cart. It's a, I'm going to pull this in as an image. Okay, make sure you pull it in as an image file. You pull it in a material file. It's going to create a few things a little different. Oh, look at that. Um, so for right now, I'm going to pull that in and set it there because that's a good place for it. Um, I'm not going to worry about, um, I could go through and, and try to scale that. I'm not as worried about that because the images, if it was from the side and I kind of knew about what I might could, well, let's see if I can set that. So I'm going to pull that in, hit enter. Okay. And then I'm going to pull this tape measure because normally I might have a better thing. I think this right here is probably close to three feet. Let's just, right. I mean, it may not be perfect, but I feel like that's pretty close. But see, it's scaling in at like 10 feet. I know it's not that. Um, so let's just say that's uh, three feet. Uh, that's three inches. Feet. Enter. Yeah, I want to res resize that. But at least it's going to give me... Oh, okay. All right. So now I've got this piece. I'm going to hit move because I want to stand it up. I just kind of like it, the fact it being... Uh, Let's see, hit my orbit thing here. Q for me. All right. 
then I'm just going to grab this and pull it up this way. Oh, it just started raining pretty crazy here at the house. I don't know if y'all hear that or not, but there we go. I'm going to spin it around. I just want to, I mean, for me, it's a, uh, All right, so that kind of gives me something to work with. And the only reason why I'm doing that is it's just going to give me a picture to look at while I'm building this thing. So I don't have to keep um, going back and forth, you know, on my project. I'm not really copying it. I'm just, um, it's giving me something to, to look at there. <clears throat> so a normal sheet of plywood is eight foot. So I know from that, if I'm going to store plywood, I at least want the part that I'm putting the plywood on to be the same size as that and I just said this was three feet so I can come through here and let's just do a rectangle or um, let's see so there's a bunch of different ways to do this obviously right um, I could draw the plywood build off of that right that's that's definitely one uh, one way to do it I can actually um, and I, I kind of like working with the materials like that. I, I don't know why, but it, it just, to me, it, it works out. So I'm going to call this thing 48 inches, comma, 96 inches. And and I just like to, I, you know. So I hit push-pull right here. And I'm going to make that three-quarter inch plywood, which is what we're working with, right? All right, so I've made that. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to make that a group. One, two, three. A group. Make it a group. There we go. And just because I like to do it, it reminds me of being at a job site. I'm going to hit that right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some copies of it, okay? Um, hit Control. And let's say I'm going to have about I'm gonna have about five sheets of plywood, probably. That's what that thing looks like it would take to me. Um, so we'll have two extra because I've already got two. So there we go. Okay, so I did seven sheets of plywood. That's not too far off of what that thing would be is what I'm thinking. Okay. All right. So let's see. If I zoom in here, a little board down there on the bottom. It looks like we got a two by four frame because plywood on that, without having some structure, it's probably not going to hold up real well because this thing's got some serious weight to it. Especially put all the other plywood on top of it and you start rolling it around. So I might as well go over here and make me a couple of 2 by 4s Okay. Hit my rectangle. It is really raining out there now. Let's hit the rectangle. I, uh, whoa, whoa. Let's see what's going on there. we doing here I want it on the green axis there we go all right let's see I want it to be 3.5 shift inches comma 1.5 shift inches all right let's zoom in on that thing I have made the edge of that 2 by 4 do our push pull like we always do I'm just gonna say it's 8 foot boards because we're making the thing 8 foot so why order more than you need right and plus eight foot boards are easy to manage. Oh, I did an eight inch. That's not right. So the good thing is hit control Z. Oh, that's gone like it never even happened. Hit push pull. Let me do eight foot and let's try to do that correctly this time. All right. So now I've done that. Now the very first next thing I need to do is one, two, three. Make that a group. Now that I got me a group right there, I'm going to go through and man it. Yeah, I want to go ahead and move this thing. I would at this point. Well, I should have done it beforehand. I like I like it whenever you can use a um, kind of like a real job site where you're working, you know. So on the bottom, making that like a um, a gravel or something, you know, uh, fluorine or something there. It's, it's it's somehow it's it's easier for SketchUp if there's um, some kind of plane there to work off of. So makes it a little easier. Let's see. Um, you might not like it. Um, let's see. I want to put that. Let's just make that. Um, well, let's see. What if we did it on a floor? That might be getting a little too crazy. 
and let's do it outside that's where the majority of my work happens anyway when I'm oh there we go okay so now we've just created like I just figure I'm building this out in the parking lot which is a lot of what I normally do all right so now I have got um, this piece right here I want to click on that I want to hit move it's already on the axis there it's I'm putting it on the face on the face it's pretty close right there I'm gonna zoom out I'm just gonna make me some here and put them on the just cuz I cuz I can do it I'm gonna zoom out I, I like to grab this corner here on the move now I'm gonna lock it in on that red axis hit control it's gonna make me one put it right there and then hit times the X and let's just say I got 10 of these things. Well, we're going to make, we'll make five. That way, enter. I think that's about all we have. It's not going to be too many of these things because it's, it's basically the bottom of it. Okay. All right. So, let me get rid of this because that's kind of covering up part of my stuff there. All right. So, now I have pulled in the image. I have basically created the material. So, I just got back from... Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, steel lumber, and they got me some material, dumped it out here in the driveway, and now I'm getting ready to build this little cart here. Okay, so I know that the bottom right there is, um, all right, well, I said it's eight foot by three foot, right? So I could do my saw horses and everything like I like to do, but, um, you know, I might just do that anyway. I, I don't know why I like that. I think it's because it makes me so nervous when I see people cut stuff off the floor or off their foot. Don't ever do that. That's that's a recipe for disaster. So the best thing, remember, and we'll go over this more on tool safety, but no matter what you do, you want to make sure that you're in control of the tools that you're using, okay? So if I am trying to cut something on a, you know, an old, old, on my shoe or something like that. It's just not a, I, it's not a good plan. So let's pull that in there because I, I do like that. Um, yeah, why not? I'll put it right here. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna make me another one here. And all I did was go to 3D Warehouse and. I could have created one of these, but somebody else did a pretty nice job of it. Pull that across. Put those fairly close together. There we go. Now, what am I going to do now? Uh, whoa, you know what I did not do? So, if I was setting this job site up, there's something I did that would not be the greatest thing. I would want to spin these around so I don't have to. It's a whole lot easier if you don't have to move all the materials. Um, so, anyway. Just a suggestion. After you've been on the job site all day and you know you're working and it, um, yeah. And then I'm gonna kind of clean this place up. I'm, I don't know why, but nothing like a bad job site that drives me nuts. I don't know. And then we're just gonna pull. That. I'm gonna make that go across. I'm just getting this out of the way. So, this is probably going to take a lot longer, but, you know, on a real job site, I've had people dump material in places you didn't want it, and then you got to move it. Let me tell you, you carry like 40 sheets of drywall or something around behind a house. The next time, you make sure they put it where you want it. Yep, all you got to do is do that one time, and you quickly realize, you know, drywall's heavy. That's why they call it sheetrock, because it's rock <laughs> and it's heavy gypsum wall boards what it is drywall or plywood is heavy so anyway um, all right let's see I'm hit move I'm just gonna put these saw horses over here because this is getting more like what I would want to see the job site so the benefits to this are I can actually now if I'm by myself, which a lot of times, you know, I mean, on a job site, depending on what you're doing, 
you may not have a lot of help. So I got to put this piece of plywood on top of here. So what this allows me to do is slide the piece of plywood, lean it on here, use it as a pivot point, and then slide it over to that. So pretty awesome, actually. I think this is a pretty good way to have done it. So the very first thing I do looks like I'm, I would build this frame is what I would end up doing. So let's pull one of these two by fours over here. Obviously, you can do this a little quicker by doing some other stuff, but, you know. That right there ain't up on the air or something, is it? There we go. Okay, so a couple of things I found that <laughs> this does create a little bit of a problem doing. I'm putting it on here, but you see how it's inside that saw horse? That's not really too cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise that up just a little bit so that when I cut this board, yeah, it's going to be out of the way. Okay. It's taking too long. All right, there we go. But from this view, it looks like it's on top of that sawhorse. All right, so let's go look at our image. So I'm building this frame. So let's see, I need, um, let's just say I've done a two by four. I'm gonna need a couple of eight foot ones. So probably would actually cut those because the boards are not exactly eight foot. But for this, I drew it, so I know this is eight foot. All right, let's see, I'll grab this. Hit the move key. Pull some of these. Where's that at? Okay. Let's go build it on the ground over here in front of the image. All right. Okay. Here's one of those. I know it needs to be laid the other way because you can tell the strength of that board is going to be coming from that direction. That's easy. Just click on this. Do that. I'm gonna hit the move key, move that up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab one of those. I want to make sure that's on the face. So when it says on face, now it's see it's grabbing that. Okay. All right. So it is. Um, I said three feet. So let's take this right here. Move that. Um, so if the boards are actually three feet wide, I'm going to have from the outside of this board to the other board. So I'm going to clip this. So that would be, so it's 36 inches, but it'd be 34 and a half because I'm going to take away that measurement. So um, I'm going to start drawing, grabbing on that, hit control. I'm just going to hit 34.5 shift inches, enter. I got that right there. So now I've got two boards laid out, and they're, it's going to be 36 inches from the width and 8 foot. Let's see. This might actually, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's kind of taking a while. So now I have got this right here. I'm going to clip that. I'm going to hit explode. And now what I want to do is I'm going to take a tape measure. Okay, grab it from that midpoint right there. Mark that out, and I want that board to be um, 34.5 inches because that's what those middle ones are. 34.5 shift inches, enter. Uh, now I have made that line across there, and then we know that SketchUp likes us to draw on that, so I'm going to draw that line. There we go. Now I'm going to do the push pull. This board's actually going to be out in the middle of nowhere, but that's all right. So now. I can clip this, one, two, three, make that a group, right? I could make that a component and call it, uh, well, I could do that. Let's do that. Make a component, and we'll call that our joist. So that's basically a joist across there, right? So we'll call that a joist. 
hit OK. I'm going to do this because I want to see how this works at the end when I start. All right. Now I can clip this, hit move. All right, did that. I'm gonna. I got to stand that back up. This little move tool is about the coolest thing SketchUp does with these little tabs right here. Whoever thought of that, that's pretty smart. We need to give them a shout out on the SketchUp. All right, so I'm gonna move, and then what I what I found, and you'll see this too. If I grab that corner right there, I'm gonna zoom out. I'm going to zoom back in. I want it to be right inside there. Look at that. And now, since I've measured everything properly, look at that. So typically, if we're doing a, a house or something, we don't want these to be framed at, uh, you know, um, we want all our joists to be spaced at a 12 inches or 16 inches or very rarely 24 inches, but it could happen. Um, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to start sliding it this way. Let's see. I want to constrain it on that green axis. Now it stays kind of right there where it's going. Let's see. Is that, is that working out right? And then I'm going to hit control. Make me another copy of that thing. And then... Let's see, now I'm going to hit the space, backward slash, and let's see, I want that thing to be, how many do I want? It's eight foot, so let's say we got six of those. All right, I think that's good enough. There you go. So now I've equally spaced those things out. I got several joists there. Um, some don't look right with that, but let's see what we got here. I feel like something's happened. This might be an opportunity to show you what SketchUp will do. I did 34 and a half. Did I do something wrong? Let's see. Oh, I should have taken off three inches. So what I did was I didn't do them. I only did the one side, which is terrible. But watch this. If this will work. So let's do the push pull. So I'm going to explode this component. Okay explode that component I'm gonna go through and grab this end over here right there hit the push pull I'm gonna click it to there hit enter and it's allowed me to fix that um, okay and now I can Let's see, I can explode that one too. I think there's a way to edit. Yeah. Let's see, edit component. There we go. So now I want to do the push pull. And to see what it did, it just edited all of them, which is pretty amazing that it's doing that. So, anyway, if you make a mistake, sometimes SketchUp is. Um, Helps you correct those real quick, but see now I've got all that, all that's proper, correct size and all, and this is, I mean legit the way I would build this thing. So let's go grab a piece of plywood, because now I've got the base made. I'm gonna grab this piece right here. Why not? I'm gonna, and I'm gonna put it right up here. And just for right now, I'm gonna. Hit that move. I really want to move that piece up a little bit. All right, get it up off of there just a little bit. So now I've got a. Now I would set up. You could do this with a table saw, or if you had a shop like that, or a skill saw, or our little track saw is a great way to do it. So now I'm gonna hit T from a tape measure. I'm gonna start moving that thing over right there. What's happening here? There we go. All right, T for tape measure. I'm going to do it. I know it's 36 inches. Inches. Enter. Made me a line. And at this point, so w basically what I would have done is just pulled across with a tape measure. I would mark this end and this end. And then I would uh, get my chalk box or a big straight edge and mark that line on there. We don't have to do that because I got SketchUp here. All right. So now I'm going to explode this component. Right. 
and then I'm gonna hit push pull I'm gonna do away with that side so now I have got me a piece of so we're gonna call this the bottom let's see that was the we did joist we'll call this the bot bottom plot bottom sheet yeah I won't call it base it's the bottom all right so I just want to see how this works on the so let's go one two three let's make that a group and we'll just no I want to make that a component we're gonna call it the the bottom base sheet I like that better bottom is good base sheet all right let's do that so now we've got that as the base sheet so whenever I clip on this and tell me what it is it's going to tell me what it is save me a little bit of time that we we, we learned that from the that video right the the, um, the bird video which was pretty awesome I thought so now I'm gonna clip this I'm gonna get in there put that right there where I want Something looks odd right there, but let's see what we got. Done? Oh, I ain't done anything with that. That edge looks weird. I don't know what's happening with that. But I'm trying to get this piece right here, and I want it to zoom in right there. Let's see what's happening there. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Okay. So now if everything lays out properly, we'll just do a little quick check. Make sure we didn't leave some plywood somewhere like I did. That. Oh, look at that. It's even. All right. So now that's good. So now I have the base. I built this bottom piece down here. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to do mine just a little bit different because I'm really not as concerned about this little small piece of wood. I, I kind of want to do plywood on both sides. And this is four foot, so let's just go grab us. Um, we could. There's a couple of things we could do, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of modify what we're doing here, cause, well, that's what we're doing. We're building it for us. We're not building this for anybody else. So, uh, let's see. I'm gonna hit the tape measure. Pull that across. Let's. I want that to be. It's three feet, so let's. Uh, Let's say that one's going to be Okay, let's make sure we got our stuff working here. So if that's 3 feet, um I'm going to do a third of that, so let's do that uh 12 inches. Enter. All right. Let's go over here and do the same thing. Come from this way. Um, enter. I think this other one was a little messed up. We got something happening there. Mark that. We're going to get rid of that. And let's do this from the other side. Uh, let's do the tape measure again. I'm just making me some guidelines, which I, I like to do. So what happened on that other one, if you saw it, so, okay, it's, it's already knowing that I want to do that. So it clipped me in there at um, 12 inches. All right, so I've made that. Let's let's put some boards on top of there. Let's see what we're able to do. Grab me one of these right there. That's a good one. And since I'm already 8 foot, I don't have to do anything with them. Cut it. And they're already laying the right way. It would be an easy move here. should be. I mean, just when you think it's going to be easy. Alright, so I want it to put right on that thing right there. I'll make these on the inside. There we go. Okay, and since I am already here, I can just grab that right there and let's start doing a hit control, make me a copy. Right? Uh, pull it across. It's already constrained, so I'm good right there. Did me one there. Alright, and um so, of course, there's a whole lot of ways to do this thing, but um, it looks like this plywood right here will actually work pretty good. We, that'll that'll fasten us a board right there. Um, and let's see. We, we can, I can put a piece of plywood on this edge, put it down here, and then I can modify these. So, 
let's let's use the SketchUp for what it's um, how quick it's going to do this. Um, let's see. All right. So let's grab that first one right there. I'm going to hit Move. Right. Move that. I just want to get it out of the way. I'm going to get it back over here. All right. I'm going now. I'm going to zoom in on that thing. Let's see. Grab that. I want that to be at 90. So it's doing something weird there, but I'll see. I can do. Let's see what happens if I do 90. There we go. It did it. Okay. So I'm at 90 degrees now. Um, so now I want to zoom in and grab that bottom corner. And then I can I can actually make this. Well, we'll do it. Yeah, we should do it now. So let's just call this. Uh, let's make that a component. Let's just call that the side. I think that's easy enough. We'll keep it simple. Now I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna grab this bottom corner right here. Ooh, if I don't go too fast past it. I'm going to hit move. Grab that bottom corner right there. I'm going to zoom out and then zoom back in where I want it. Uh, man, I'm, me and this mouse are um, fighting a little bit today. I want it to be right there. So now I have put that piece there. Obviously, in the, you know, in the world, we're going to have to cut all this, but we don't have to on this one. You know why? Because it's SketchUp and it's awesome. All right, so I'm going to do this right here. I can grab that. Watch this. I start pulling that over there. Constrain it to my axis. Let's see. I constrain it to the wrong axis. I can do that. Hit control. It knows I want to go there. Look at that. Bam. Now, I got two sides. What do I want to do now? Let's see. I probably want to grab one of these. This right here. That two by four. Hit move. Watch this. Now I want to put that on that blue axis, constrain it to that. If you hit those arrow keys, it makes life a lot easier. I'm going to hit control, made me a copy of that thing. Uh, what am I doing here? Man, it's zooming in like crazy, isn't it? Alright, now if it lets me do like it's supposed to, Let's just hit that. I, I don't like that. I did something. Picked up something weird on that. But, alright, let me get this where I can see what it's doing. For whatever reason, this zoom is really... I want to zoom in. Okay, so what I need to do is grab this corner. Grab that. Hit my up key. Hit the control. So I'm going to make... Oh, I know. I'm trying to do it again. Okay, let's hit... Alright, so... Let me hit Control Z. Awesome that you can just erase. So the problem is I'm trying to grab the bottom. I'm grabbing the wrong part of the thing. I need to grab right there because it, it the corner wants to grab wants to hook hook to the to the piece of plywood. So now now I can now it's going to constrain. There we go. I'm going to do that. I think I want like four of these. So I'm going to say divide. Let's do four equally spaced. Bam. That, that did it right there. Let's see. What is another tool we could do here? Um, let's see. I don't know if this will work. but So obviously I could do the exact same thing on the other side. But let's try something different. So I want to make kind of a temporary group here. Is that going to do it? I think it is. Now I can hit the move. You see how only those uh, boards lit up? I can hit the move key. I'm going to move this whole group. Look at that. What in the world? This like stuff's moving straight up. And then I can do that. Look at that. There we go. Okay. So now I have made the... And I need some shelves, right? I, f I feel like we need some shelves in here. And I probably would lean these or something in the... But anyway, we'll... There's a little bit of a... You know, the bottom is a little wider than the top on this one. Just so the plywood will lean back. But there's a couple other ways to do that um, without 
making some weird angles and stuff. Um, so let's go pull a piece of plywood and make some shelves. All right, hit that right there. Hit the move key again. Hit the M for move. I'm going to put this piece back up on top of my saw horses. Of course, you don't have to do this. I just, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so now that I have made that, let's see. What, let me go in here and see how long this is because I, I actually did a little bit of, I, I put some boards in some places. I believe this is one foot if everything's working out right. But, you know, when you got a tape measure, you might as well, why well, guess, right? Because I do have a tape measure right here. So let's see. I'm going to go in here and click that to that. Oh, one foot. Exactly one foot. Now, with the board being what it is, I mean, this kind of works out pretty good, right? Um, I can actually... But I am I could cut this so I can make four shells out of this, right? Because the board's four foot. I'm going to do it a little different. Uh, we'll just call this... Let's do a tape measure again. And we're going to lock that in at one. It's trying to lock in at one foot. Why not let it? Let me click up here. I'm going to draw me a line. Bam. Okay. Now I'm going to have to explode this whole component. Right? Explode. Bam. Hit push pull. Get rid of that. Now I got this one board here. So I'm going to call that the shelf because that's what it is, right? So let's go one, two, three. Make it a component. Let's call it a shelf. Awesome. Let's click right there. Bam. Now, what SketchUp's going to allow me to do, if I can do this properly, because this zoom thing is really, I don't know why I'm doing wrong on that today. All right, let's hit move. I'm going to grab this bottom corner. Make sure that you're looking at the proper corners because it makes life a lot easier whenever you go to place it, because what's going to happen is it's going to find that right there. See? It just found that. Now I could make it copy and do some other stuff but I'm just gonna now that I'm already here I'll grab that I'll hit control right and then I can do that again let's put one up here on the top hit control so it makes a copy now the very top is a little different because um, what have I got up here yeah so it's wider Okay, because I want that piece actually extending over the top of the or the plywood right there. I don't have to, but it's going to create a weird angle right there, so I would make this a little bit wider, you know. Um, so SketchUp's going to let me do something here that um, we couldn't do in the real world. But uh, so I'm going to grab this. I'm actually I'm not going to constrain it to the thing now. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to go put it right there. But because uh, SketchUp is going to let me explode this, what am I going to do? I'm going to explode the component. I'm going to hit the push pull on this edge. And I'm going to pull that to right there. And now that I've told it I want it on that face, it's right there. And then let's go through and I want a one, two, three. Let's make this thing a, a component. And I'm going to call it the top. Because that's what it is. Make that right there. There's the top. All right. Bam, bam. Only a couple. Of, only thing I have not done is I need something over here to uh, so the board doesn't fall off, right? Like the little piece on the bottom. So let's see what we could do there. Um, I probably would put some kind of bridging or bracing, but we'll for right now. Let's. We'll, it's fine. Um, it might actually be stronger than I think, but. Anyway, when I do stuff, I like to kind of, uh, a buddy of mine used to call it the belt and suspenders approach. So you make sure you got everything covered, right? Um, so now I need, uh, I probably wouldn't do that out of plywood. I'd do it out of a two by four, but I don't want to cover the whole thing. So let's see what we got here. Um, let's hit move. I might as well put that up here on my saw horses or close to it. There we go. Well, <laughs> that's not the sawhorse. That is the one advantages of having stuff drawn where it's easier to, when it finds that. See, I can find that, and I'm not just, like, setting it out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so now I'm going to hit move 
I'm going to go through and grab this right here. I'm just going to lift that up. Of course, it's into the sawhorse. That's not cool, but it's fine for what we're doing now. So, I want to... I want that board. I think what I'm going to do is just screw that board to the edge over here. And it's going to allow me to do a couple of things. But but first, I want to hit my tape measure. Uh, let's see. Tape measure tool. I'm going to pull down. So that 2x4 is actually... Um, it's it's three and, a, 3 and a half inches wide. So I want to say that this board is going to be an inch and a half down. So let's do that. Let's go 1.5. If you do, if you try to make it too narrow on the bottom, it'll split, and that's what we don't want. So let's go grab this two by four over here. I'm just gonna pull it over here close. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab this bottom corner of this thing. Once again, try to get your corner spacing properly. Pull back here. Zoom in where I want to be, and I want to be on that line I just made. There we go. Okay. There we go. So I just made that. Uh, let's let me zoom out where you can see this. And now what I want to do, I want to grab. So I want to grab this other corner because I want to put it over here on the same place. So let me get zoomed in. Hit that. Hit. I want it on that red axis, which is what it's trying to do, right? Um, so there we go. Hit Control. And now I gotta. Zooming out at the same time, and I'm going to try to get it right there. There we go. So the only thing I'd be left with now are the wheels, right? So this is the part that I thought was kind of cool. So if um, we did not make that, we're going to call that the brace. Uh, it we'll call that the yeah we'll call this the brace, right? So I want to make that a group. Make a component, and we're going to call that the We'll just call it brace because it's uh it keeps the plywood braced on the thing. So now we'll call it the stop. That's what it would be because it's the stop, like a door stop. That's what you call it. So the door doesn't just swing in. That's it's called a door stop. All right. So let's do that. So now that I have built this, let's go through where's my dimension and stuff at over here. When everything's hidden, it definitely makes things a little tougher for me. There we go. So let's grab this. What is this? On face. See, oh, look at that. It says side. That's awesome. There's the stop. Anything else we need? We need a shelf, right? Let's see what we got here. We're going to make that the shelf. We got what the top up here. Uh, we don't want it to call in point. We want that to call the top. And then what's this right here? Oh, they're trying to give me dimensions on that one. All right. So what I probably would do at this point is because I don't need some of this other stuff, right? Um, let's see how this works. So I'm going to hit a race. Oh, look at that. It actually did it. And. All right. So now. You can kind of see that I have. Um, let's see. I'm going to grab this whole thing because I kind of want it turned like that. No particular reason, but why not? Uh, I'm going to hit move. I'm going to. Where's my. All right, let's do the Q right there because I'm going to put that little thing right there. And what are we going to do? Let's move this thing. Let's see. All right. So now, as you can see, I have pretty much built this uh, little cabinet right here, right? We'll get rid of that line because that's bugging me. There we go. Okay. All right, so that's what y'all are doing. Now I would put my name on this. Um, of course, always, always, always put your name on stuff. Um, 
I actually had a professor in college. If you didn't put your name and his name on it, it was an instant zero. That's rough when you're in college. You only got about three grades a whole year. Uh, Mr. Creel's um, plywood storage, right? Plywood storage. I'll just call it solution because solution sounds good. All right, plywood storage solution. We're going to put that right there. Uh, there we go. Why not? All right. Um, now that that's there, I can grab it and move it, right? All right, let's see. All right. Should we put it on the top or the bottom? I kind of like it on the bottom. All right. So that is what you're, um, that's kind of what y'all are doing, right? So hopefully that helped. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, y'all stay safe because the weather is a little um, rough outside. I, like I said, I heard a bunch of rain just a minute ago. Uh, we will be in class at normal time. Um, so if anybody has any questions and then I have office hours on Friday, which is, uh, always available. Take advantage of the time that you have to, uh, get caught up on stuff. Um, so I look forward to seeing what everybody's doing and, uh, y'all have a great Thursday. And let's see. I can't find the place to stop. There we go.